Now that they had a script, storyboard artists under the auspices of Liz came together to paint the pictures. Actors who didn't get the main parts were invited to send in unscripted vlogs. We need video blogs that help to set up the story. What happens is at first there's just all these strange occurrences and people making video blogs it's like, this is really, really random, but I was at the post office, this guy was sneaking, he just, he smelled so bad, he looked like he, he looked like a corpse, you know, that kind of thing. You don't have to have zombies in your video, it's just the, the, the intro to kind of like hint at maybe they're zombies. It's just got to be kind of like, it's really weird, this stuff's been happening, I don't know what's going on, or just just kind of slip it into, you know, a regular type of video blog. Okay, I had to make this video. I just ran home. There's something going on. There's some there's something out there. I don't know what it is. It doesn't matter anymore. So I'm going to record this. Please, lock your doors. It is almost too late. Do not let anyone in. Not even the giant coffee man. Take a cow inside so you have plenty of milk. This is not a thriller night. Starting from just a webcam in her bedroom, Bryony had assembled writers and a script, a team of storyboard artists, and some potential writers. It looked like she might actually make her Halloween deadline. Surely nothing could go wrong. But this is the internet. Just when things were going well, a flame war erupted. I am the god of hellfire, and I bring you fire. Me and Meg. My name's Megan. We kind of went through all those ideas. Basically, you can't have all the ideas, but we tried to put as many of the ideas into something as we could. Whenever you put anything on the forum, everyone has an opinion and everyone just ripped it apart. It just turns into hell for the person organising it. It's just par for the course. If you make videos on YouTube, people are going to be horrible. Here are some of the haters' comments. Are you some sort of dumbass that likes the sound of her own voice? Or are you really mentally serious? You'll obviously need a sex scene if you want your film to have any credibility. I'll sex the girl if she's good looking. Well, that's very good of you. Fuck you, I didn't go to a private school. I've got an idea for the name. Your ugly face! <laughs> But Bryony was first and foremost a YouTube superstar, so she had to attend a YouTube gathering in Toronto. I'm at the YouTube gathering on the 9th of August 2008. And in Toronto, she thought a Halloween deadline was no big deal, so she decided to stay out there on holiday for a month. Slap bang in the middle of the project. Bryony didn't seem to do an awful lot of filming on holiday, but she did do an awful lot of photography but not much filming. And not many of these photos seem to contain zombies. In fact, none of them contain zombies, or script writing, or anything to do with the project at all. So she shortened her schedule by a month, and that was a schedule which professional filmmakers had called... It's fucking crazy. And because she wasn't there to oversee the forums, this led to more flame wars. Fire. All of us have had our ideas changed, rewritten or left out completely during this project. Don't pull a bogus charge like that. That's a kindergarten game. I'm not willing to play. This ends now, OK? No more arguing or I'll <coughs> punch all of you in the <coughs> face. And then I'll punch all your moms in their faces. Remember Alec and Mitch, the writers? They were working on a subplot for a character called Gus. One of my main contributions has been the Gus plot. What we're going to try to do is make Gus uh, a really likable character, someone the audience is really going to relate to, so that later on when he's horribly murdered by zombies, and it's going to be a, a scene that everyone's going to remember. But then disaster. Alec and Mitch discovered that the Gus subplot had been cut. Even though he'd had a couple of stiff drinks, this made Alec very angry. The whole point of this project was always that it would be collaborative. What we have instead is this dark Masonic inner circle of writers, unnamed and unknown to any of us, who have written script from behind closed doors. Not a single idea from any of the scripts that were posted to the forum has been included. There's not a trace of the Gus plot, none of the scenes that were posted here. The ending is utterly unrelated to any of the ending discussions. I can understand not everything being included, 
but nothing has been included. Which makes me ask, was there any point in us contributing? With so many people on the forums well vexed, we decided to ask internet guru Mark Derry why flame wars are so common. He's a man who knows absolutely everything about the internet, except for how to look directly at a webcam. Well, the question of why flame wars erupt, I think, relates to the medium. It's kind of an inherent problem with internet communication. And I think the very, very narrow emotional bandwidth of email communication and even something like online video conferencing encourages us to fill in all the blanks. So much is presumed, much is inferred, and unfortunately, irony and sarcasm die screaming. Hang on, haven't we heard that before? Sarcasm does not belong on YouTube. We also spoke to Daniel Jackson from The Sun online. Flame wars can start for a number of reasons. It's normally with a single comment. Uh, people can get dragged into flame wars because they're too popular on the boards, because their opinion is uh, sometimes polarising. And sometimes people just get into flame wars because they're jealous. I mean, if you are unable to kind of back up your debate for any reason, the, the best thing you can do is start bringing on a tirade of abuse. Things got so heated online that Bryony was forced to stop taking pictures of the groovy gang and sent us this video. First of all, um, there's a couple of people who are really pissed off with a bunch of things. I don't know why anyone would think like, oh, we did all this stuff and it's just been removed. It's like, well, why would you think, oh, oh, and I don't know the ins and outs of all of it, because basically I've been in Toronto. The like internet time goes like 20 times faster than real time, but I've been away for one week. It's not like I'm not doing stuff for the project at all. It's just that, yeah, okay, there's all these people working on the script, but how am I supposed to divide my time? Like, I can't give a load of time to the script when there's also stuff like with working out who's gonna film stuff. There's also stuff working out where we're gonna film things. How are we going to like work out like the logistics of who's filming what? How are we going to do kind of makeup and special effects? Who's going to do post-production? Who's going to do editing? Who's going to do, you know, how are we going to promote the film? How are we going to find a place to actually like premiere the film? With Bryony away, activity on the forum slowed to a standstill. They were like a ghost town. Ooh. And all the ghosts could do was argue with each other. Fire. How about doing some actual work, like, instead of insulting the people who laboured on the framework? Go f*** yourself. You're a waste of space who's got a chip on his shoulder and a series of shoddy independent films in his locker. If you wish to further insult my competence, I expect you to do so in a private message, where I'll gladly argue with you until the day I die. With Halloween less than two months away, it looked like Bryony's dream of making an internet zombie movie was dead and buried. But then Bryony came back from her holiday, and she came back fighting. The internet zombie movie rose from the grave like a... zombie. So I'm back. Basically, I've been away for a month, and I've tried to keep in contact with the project, but it's kind of run away from me a little bit. So my plan is that I need to get back in control. <laughs> I think that it's definitely possible to get it done for Halloween. So she was going to finish the internet zombie movie by Halloween. Remember, that was the schedule that professional filmmakers called... Fucking crazy. Bryony realised that perhaps the pros were right. She only had time to finish a portion of the internet zombie movie. To make sure the bit she did make was as good as possible, she appointed heads of department. She put New Zealander ads in charge of organising the teams, and with impetus returning to the project, soon she had assembled cameramen, editors, and most importantly, two directors. And although the chap on the left needs to tidy his room before his mum gets home, he knows how to organise a film set. Hello, my name is Pete Curran and I am a young, 20-something, married, aspiring director living in London. My name is Tim Keeling. I am a film student and also one of the directors from Madhouse Collective. With the crew assembled, Bryony finally sat down with the audition tapes and with the help of a dark Masonic cabal, actually just the forum members, she finally cast the movie. Here are the actors who landed the main roles. 
I have been picked to play the part of Abby, which I am very excited about and I can hardly contain myself. So I'm going to be playing Ethan, so very, very nice surprise. I'm absolutely chuffed a bit. I've got a part in the Internet Zombie movie as, uh, as Kelly. Thank you, Bryony. Thank you, everyone else on the team, for giving me the part of Ben. He was so pleased to get the part, his clothes fell off.